about Ekene. But that can't be possible. But it is possible already. It's happening in our very before. Mom, you're not saying anything. Mom! So much. Let me think. From big wings that you think you can now fly above the skies, right? I understand. Well, don't you understand? Everything you just said. You actually think you can now go about disobeying the others in this palace, isn't it? Why did you not give the khaki to Aduri when you were asked to? Oh. And do you seriously expect me to answer that? Am I talking to an idiot? Why did you not give the car key to Aduri? You know what? If this is what this is about, I'm not available. You will not... Come, Billy! Woman, what are you talking about? As you support Aduri, are you going not? My king... Maybe that's the will of the gods. There is no will of the gods in this. This is total greatness and enviness. Not being contented. I've always warned you to teach these children not to look wherever that will make them not to be contented with what they have. But you are always going opposite. It's only Cambrian in this palace that is not giving me headache. Everyone else is giving me headache. I will not support your notion of this. Tomorrow is my wife's funeral. After that, one week later, Adure will get married to Ekene. That's final. Oh, my phone. Excuse me. In my own house. Just do as we requested them. Thanks for your understanding, man. King, I I want to render apologies. I mean, I'm sorry for how I sounded earlier. I've also thought about it, and 
I realized that you're right. We should follow the do's and don'ts of the custom and tradition of this community. I do wish you wait. She should wait to get married to Ekene in due process. You are the king. Your word is authority. Apologies. That's fine. You see, if we have been on the same wavelength, there won't be this verbal bout before now, but it's fine. I'm happy you understand what I mean now. Thank you very much, my king. Welcome. I, I beg to take my leave. I've been calling you for the past two days, but you haven't been taking my calls. I am calling off the tradition of marriage. There will be no marriage between us. Wait, wait, are you joking? You know I've made preparations to come with my people to perform all traditional rites next week. Really? Yes. <laughs> well, I'm going to make it so simple. Keep your ring to yourself. And please. Do not bring any tacky wacky member of your generations to my palace. Only the name of paying for my bride price. It is not necessary anymore. It's over. Excuse me. My princess. Babe. I have to call my father. Hello, Papa. Yeah, the, the princess just left my house now and she gave me back my ring that she's calling off the marriage. Yes. Okay, I, I think I have to go after her then. All right, Papa. The doctor confirmed that my husband, your king, he were afraid of this kingdom, suffered cardiac arrest. Huh? Please, I want all of us to be calm because he assured that all medical treatment will be given to him. In that case, we have to fly him abroad so that all the medical treatment needed will be administered. All I, I, I ask is for us to pray for his safety, his quick recovery, calmness, and peace in our kingdom. Please. Bad report. Bad report. The worst report ever had in this kingdom. Our queen, for your information, I knew His Majesty too well, even before he married. Yes, we are too close. He had never complained of common chest pain. Not to talk of cardiac arrest. Ha! 
This is not acceptable to us. We reject the report. The doctor must answer, must answer for it. The doctor must answer for it. We reject it. Tell him we reject it. No, so why is it coming at such a strategic time? Why is it coming at such a strategic time when we have barrier in this palace? Huh? It cannot happen. Though. Our ancestors are not sleeping. The ghosts of our ancestors are not sleeping. The barrier will be peaceful and hair tech free. While you all have access to the doctor, what? you can hear from the horse's mouth. <laughs> <laughs> your Majesty, we are not adapting your words, but it's somehow fishy and unbelievable. I said yesterday we seated with our king, he was in his flagrant seas and healthy. We are discussing the tragedy of custom of our people. You come next morning and hear his story. No! I would not accept that. No, it's not possible. We shall proceed to him. We shall not only hear from the horse's mouth. We can only go ahead and hear from the camel's mouth. Huh? Our king is not suffering any arrest. What is going on? What am I hearing? What is happening? What do you expect to answer your silly question? Eh? Yes. Remember, she wasn't there when it all started. What? Did I talk to you? Or you? did I tell you that I am daft? M Mother, please talk to me. What happened to father? Who should shut up? Eh? Look at this, this present. Who should shut up? Will you start that nonsense? M Mother, please talk to me. Where is my father? Your father collapsed this afternoon. Please, w w w why? I mean, w w what happened? Where is he? Why? Where stop is shouting. Why are you behaving as if you're the only child he's got? Mother, please just talk to me. Where's my dad? Where, 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 where has they been taken to? Which hospital? Talk to me, please. To know your hospital. Princess, can't you wait for me? What is actually happening in this palace? Tell me, what is happening really in our palace now? Who knows what is happening there now? Oh no. Huh? It's here, mm -hmm. I perceive lies. Yes. I perceive visits mm -hmm. from the mouth of that wicked woman. Oh. Let us go and see the doctor and confirm what is wrong with our king. Jenupe, we just have to go to the doctor and find out what's happening. That woman is playing with her intelligence. Can you imagine? She doesn't even know we are the custodian and tradition of our people. <laughs> we must go know. Oh no. You see, uh, this woman is playing with fire. She is playing with fire. We have the support of her ancestors. <sighs> and a male woman like her cannot hold the, the entire kingdom to ransom. <laughs> Let me tell you this. The daughter is already expecting me. I told him we are on our way. <laughs> yes. Let, let, go. Go. let me tell you this. That woman must pay for every insult she meted on us. Good, good. But before then, I will tell the daughter that we are the consequence of the custom of this land. Oh. Yeah, let's just go. Let's go. Let's go and see. It's here you're talking. <laughs> A male woman coming to show us. <laughs> show just power. <laughs> Can you imagine that? that? Yes, Your Majesty. Yes, he sent for me, but I was informed he was hospitalized. Yes. Uh, we didn't have any conversation at all. All right, I wish His Majesty a safest and quickest recovery. It's okay. Thank you, Your Majesty. Okay, then. Thank you very much. Bye for now.
Hello, doctor. Yes, me here. Yes. I'm forwarding 10 million naira to your account. 10 million naira to your account. Hmm. Yes. Thank you. What? The elders are in the hospital? Right now? Okay. Mm. Listen. Do not allow them to see the king. In fact, no one is allowed to see the king until I say so. Am I understood? Good. I'll call you. What? Mom, honestly, I am sick. I am sick and tired of this whole game. Every man I want doesn't want me. I think it's high time you started thinking differently. Like I think about the throne, when your sister is out from this palace. You of all people knows I cannot become the queen without a husband. You know that, Mom. Then find one for yourself. Excuse me. I don't need distractions. I can I with every rubbish you do to me, I still find myself wanting you. What what is it? I will do everything within my power to get you. Damn the consequences! So your dad will be in abroad in no time? Yes, my dear. But at the moment, the Nigerian doctors have to be attending to him before we conclude with the treatment abroad. I understand, my dear friend. My heart is always with you. <laughs> Now, who is this bad man? Get her from this place! Sorry, can you get out? I think he needs something. Get out! You know what? Let's just leave this place. I can't. I don't want to be contaminated. Let's leave. Can't you just tench? It is irritating disease. Let's go! Just calm down. Oh my god. What are you talking about, Adu? You can't be pregnant for a kidney and you want to get married to King Jordan. Mother, this pregnancy means nothing to me. Besides, it's not my first time of getting rid of a pregnancy. Tell me, what's your stand with King Jordan? May I know? He wants us to take our time and he... And he what? And he what? He will be traveling tomorrow. And I'm sure by the time he returns, he will propose to me. Do you have anything with him? Talk to me. Do you? Not really. I'm sorry. It's fine. You can go now. You said you were traveling to London, right? Yes, it's a very important business trip. How long will you be there? 
Let's say two months. That's lengthy. It's okay. I mean, we'll, we'll talk on the phone. My sister is always here to keep you company, so. Okay. As soon as I come back, I will do the needful. Okay. That was what he told me. Oh, yeah, that's the baby. I am calling the doctor right away. You will get rid of that thing. Or have you spoken to Kenny about it? Not really. What do you mean, not really? I asked a direct question and I need a direct answer. Why are you telling me not really? Have you spoken to Kenny about it? That was the question. No, I haven't. But we spoke about it somehow. Honey, what's the problem? You don't seem happy. Is everything okay? I don't feel okay. I feel I'm pregnant. What? Are you sure it's not your period that is coming? Not at all. I threw up twice already. And my breasts are so heavy. I feel so weak and dizzy. My love, you know what? How about you go and see your doctor? And if the result is positive, I would fast track the wedding plan so we can get it done with. You have to. Because you know where I come from, it is a taboo for an adult to be pregnant outside wedlock. It's okay, my love. Now, can you have some apple and smile for me? I'm fine. Alright. You get rid of the baby. You are going to get rid of that thing. You're not pregnant. Am I understood? I am sorry you cannot see the king. Meaning what, doctor? No, this is getting too much, Rene. Huh? That we cannot see our king. Why? What is going on? Tell us what is going on. Is anyone behind this or what? Because this is the second time you are resisting us pursuing our king. Huh? Um, Let me tell you this. You have no reason to give us. We want to see the king and nothing again. His majesty will not be needing any disturbance. This situation right now is very precarious and I urge you elders to go back home and keep praying for him. Doctor, what are you telling us again? That our king had cardiac arrest. Eh? I have given you people the medical result. Doctor, His Majesty my king is oozing out blood from his mouth. I know, you will see your king. But for now, it's not possible. No. My king had never had chest pain before. Now, he has gone to the hospital. He was suffering cardiac, cardiac arrest. Let us see him now. Doctor. Doctor. I demand to see my father. I am the princess. And that's my father in there. Alright? I demand to see my father. And I demand to see him now. You cannot stop me from seeing my dad. Because I am family. Yes. Alright? Whatever ban it is you have. Cannot have a hold on me. Do you understand? I demand to see my father right now. There are some certain cases you don't get to see the patient until the whole medical test and treatment is being done. Doctor, my father had a cardiac arrest and you stand there and tell me to go back home. Is this not a joke? Is this a joke or something? I mean, what's the meaning of all this? Doctor, please, I do not want to cause chaos here. 
all right but i demand to see my father and i demand to see him now i do not want to lose it i don't want to raise my voice but you're pushing me my princess relax your mind you'll be fine the king also will be fine uh, but for now no one is allowed to see the king not even the queen on whose authority i demand to see my father what's the meaning of all this you are talking with his daughter the princess of our kingdom listen to me to be on the safe side, I advise you, allow her to go and see her father. No protocols will, 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 will forbid her from seeing her father. Huh? I demand to see the higher authority. I want to speak with the person in charge. Somebody yeah. higher than your office. Doctor, she's talking about the medical director of this hospital. He is the higher authority and the highest authority. I am sorry, this is the rule. I demand to speak with an higher authority right now. Not out of this king. The princess of the uh, palace, you, you also receive the house of Sia On what authority, please, I demand to see what is in charge. My son, you see, it is better for you to have a broken pot on your way to the stream than for you to have your pot broken. When you're already on your way back with the whole pot full of water. What I'm saying is this. It is better for you to have a broken relationship than to have a broken marriage. Hey, Papa. What do I tell all my friends? I mean, what do I tell my friends that I've invited from every part of the world to come to my wedding? Is it from the UK? Is it from the US? Is it from Poland, Germany, or even China that I wake up one morning and tell them I'm calling off the wedding because my wife-to-be rejected me? Papa, it doesn't make any sense. Please, Papa, you need to do something for me. I need you to help me talk to the Queen so she can talk to Princess Adure to change her mind. Please, Papa, please. <clears throat> and listen, when you decide to beg a woman for a relationship from the beginning, just be ready to continue to beg all your life as long as that relationship is it. Because when the stream is polluted at its source, it invariably carries that pollution through all its cause of wrong. That is the truth. So be ready to beg the woman every day of your life. Uh, but uh, if it's going to make you happy, I will go to the palace and uh, talk to them. Find out exactly uh, how the water managed to penetrate the very stem of the pumpkin. Thank you very much, Papa. I will, I, will, I will really appreciate it if you do that for me. Forget about me begging for the rest of my life. I can't handle that, but just help me beg the Queen, please. Uh, you can handle that. You are a man, and the man is always equal to whatever comes to him. <laughs> Especially that which he has chosen by himself. Uh? Doctor? Your Majesty. I've made the payment. Commence the treatment. Okay, Your Majesty. I don't want any trace. There will be no trace. Listen, I want you to be highly professional. Yes, Your Majesty. You have nothing to worry about. No trace. Yes, Your Majesty. You have nothing to worry about.
Okay, doctor. Let me hear. My queen. It is done. Perfect. All right. Listen, you'll make the announcement after the funeral tomorrow. Okay, Your Highness. Good. Don't worry, I'll take off from there. Mm. One phase down, second phase to go. <laughs> I am the queen. No one tears me. Yeah, hello, my friend. Yeah, how are you doing? Yes, I'll be at the funeral tomorrow. Yeah, take care of yourself. Yeah, bye. Hello, brother. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm good. I just walk over there. Now, uh, okay. All right. Bye. Yeah. Your Majesty, and all my elders, Doctor, you are welcome. I know we just laid to rest the second queen of this kingdom. May her soul rest in peace. It's a... I am not supposed to let this out at this time, but I think it is important I bring it to your notice. Go straight to the point, Doctor. Stop Rimarole. Tell us what you want to say. Doctor, please. What is going on? We're eager to hear. Talk now. His Majesty is dead. Yes, he died. What? What are you talking about? Oh, 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 oh. I'll clap for you. Lies. Lies. Joke of this century. This cannot be true. A man heard it the other day. He is now dead in your hands. My friend, come back and tell us the truth. Open your mouth and tell us what actually happened. Um, doctor, you're joking, right? I am sorry we did our best. I'm really, really sorry. Hey! Let me stop you! No! 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 Chai! No! 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 Chai! No. You're joking. Are you out of your mind? My queen, we. Are you. We have to do our best. Are you out of your mind? I am sorry. This is not happening in this chamber. His Majesty. Get out! It's okay. My queen. Is okay. My queen. Okay. 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 We cannot discuss anything about the burial of our late king. Now, that is because we have culture and tradition in this land. What would you have me do? Now say. The best option is to commit him to Mother Earth. Not just like that, my queen. Not like that, not just like that. 
Our king is not just any other person. He was a revered king. A revered king. We must bury him according to tradition. Your reign as the queen of this kingdom expires after 30 days. That's one month from the demise of the king. Princess Adure, the first daughter of our late king, is still single. And because of this, she cannot have access to the throne. Well, until she gets married. That is tradition. My sister Adure will be getting married to King Jordan of Ubudu Kingdom very soon. Very well then. Well, she can be a queen. The board of king at the same time, the queen of the kingdom. It's not possible. She has to choose one. Oh, that's not possible. If Princess Cambry, who is also the other of the second queen, gets married before her, she will lose her right to the throne. Ichendukwe, whoever between the two that fulfills the condition as related on the appointed time will ascend the throne. Well, the same person will bury the king. Uh -huh. My elders, I think it's high time you left. I don't know where all these are coming from. The royal palace, this royal home, needs rest. Your royal majesty, there is. I have spoken. Our queen, you cannot ask the elders to leave this palace. Huh? Even when this critical matter is at stake, at hand. I'm still the queen. I still have one month to rule this kingdom. Now listen, all of you. I do not want anyone to visit uninvited. For clarity's sake, what my mother is saying is that henceforth, no more visiting without invitation. My queen will have you loud and clear. Ndiche. No. Ndiche. No. According to her purpose, uh, popular adage, any woman that her team makes noise during meeting, hears the noise with her ears. You had our queen. But, Queen I, <laughs> we will leave you and leave the palace like you desire. Mana, when there is a very important need for us to be in this palace, our palace, we will come here. Eh? Yes. For now, every meeting in this palace is shut down until we have a new queen. Let us go. Thank you for keeping it straight. And thank you for understanding. Get out, all of you. Mom. That or no war of a man. Sure have some nerves. Like I always say, one thing at a time. When his time comes, <laughs> I will place him in his rightful position. One month. I still have one month to marry or marry some people. For now, I need to think. Mom, mm -hmm. Adure cannot become queen in both kingdoms. That will never be possible. She must let me take one. You're going to be the future queen of Orumba Kingdom. You don't need to bother about that. I don't see that happening, Mom. 
because your daughter's action says otherwise. What did you say? She wants to become queen in both kingdoms. You don't need to bother yourself. As soon as Adure gets married to King Jordan, she will lose interest in becoming the queen here. Just buckle your sandals, whom you have to contend with as Kambili, not Adure, your sister. If Kambili crosses my path to the throne, I will crush her. Kambili is not my problem. My problem is your precious daughter, Adure. And I understand that she's my elder sister mom but if she dares try to stop me I will crush her as well without thinking twice like I said before Buckle your sandals. You have Kambili to contend with. Not your sister. You know, I'm happy you're my daughter. I am happy that you and your sister, Aduri, are buying clarity to my vision. A mission. You know, you remind me so much about me when I was younger. Everything about royalty. Mm -hmm. It's here. And I slice it, mm. ties it, piece after piece until I get where I am. I'm happy you're my daughter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> now listen, Adure is not your problem. Be ready to contend with Kambili. Hmm? What stupid relation is that? That we, the elders of this kingdom, will not come to the palace before that notice. <laughs> Who is she? Look at my opinion. It's actually you know. My elders, look at, look at my opinion. Let's just calm down and follow her gradually. Let me tell you this one. Eh? She already knows that she's in a hot, very hot seat. She already knows that she's in a very hot seat. Let's leave her. She has our ancestors to contend with. She has just insulted us, and at the band she takes it back. Yes. Oh no, we see when. We see when. I will make sure that that woman has her hey. ancestors to contend with. <laughs> hey. What kind of embarrassment is this? What is so many embarrassment? Why are those things happening at the same time? Me. Huh? Why are we having this embarrassment? Mad man, listen to me. Where are you from? Oh, my man. When did he start having oh. mad people in this our community? Oh. Eh? Food. Oh, stop. Food. Money. Food. Where are you from? I am sure that you are not from this village. Who are you? 
Ah oui, à moi, il y a Pour lui, il y a un stock de 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 stock Get out from here. Oh, we, we don't, don't have money. money. Go! We don't have money. We go! You want money? You want money? If you have money, give him. Stop the sad loss, my friend. Come, 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 come. Come, white man, come. Take, take. Take money. Take money. Take money. <laughs> don't fight anybody. You cannot go, go, go! Don't fight anybody. Are you hearing me? Don't be peaceful in this community. Follow elders. So, like Ichie Ibeko was saying before we were massively interrupted by this madman. Huh? Ha! When Agatha has just insulted us, and I demand she takes it back. Like I told you, she has the gods of her ancestors to contend with already. Now, it is now clearly spared out to me that all I'm not you are talking about. Yes. Kambiri, Princess Kambiri. Yes. Was intentionally shot out of the meeting. Good. Huh? Good. But meanwhile, <laughs> we must also everything here. Let's go back home. I know why they shot her away from that. Why? Your services are no longer needed in this palace henceforth. Your jobs have been terminated. Um, um, my princess, please, if we have actually offended you in any way, apologies. Please, shut up. My princess, we can't be treated with such cruelty. We have been diligent in our service. Yes, my princess. Yes. Did you not hear me say shot eight? On your knees, all of you. Three of you. On your knees, I said! If you ever talk while I am talking, I will chop off your heads and feed them to the dogs. Are we clear on that? What is going on here? I asked them to leave as instructed mother. Why are they still kneeling? Hey, you. You should be gone by now. What are you still waiting for? Oh, wait. Um, would you like to work with our pay? Oh, really? You don't want to do free jobs, but you want to eat my food freely. You're an idiot. Now be gone and never to return. Yes, Your Highness. Ah! Fools! I think I don't know your hair spy was ex -homes. It's actually good they left, Mom. Because they were talking while I was talking. And that is awful. Tell Aduri to scout for another guards and maids. We need new stewards around. Not those. There will be two timers spying in and out of the palace. I will not take that. They are happy I didn't chop off their heads and fit it to the birds of the earth. Your Majesty. I am here 
on behalf of my brother, the Jeffo. He couldn't come because of circumstances beyond his control. We want to know why your daughter, Princess Adure, opted out of marrying our son, Ekene. If I may hear you clearly, you came to ascertain why my daughter opted out from the marriage plan. We take an adelite for your nephew. Right? Yes, Your Majesty. And I also came to sympathize with the royal house over the death of our king. That is why. I came with this wine. Um, what, what is that your name again? Your Majesty, my name is Nze. Nze. To pity, Nze Kono Bigim. Now get up and leave. Your Majesty. I hate insulting adults. Get out. Your Majesty. Get out. Throw me out of God! Please. Huh? Oh, it's about. Which marriage are we talking about? Why do they think my daughter will settle for that? Finn! Emara, I don't know how to say Scandal will be faring now. You know, she was very depressed when we left the palace. Yes, I noticed it. I really do feel for her. You know she's yet to recover from the death of her mother. Now her father, the king! What surprises ah. me is the non talent attitude of her sisters. My dear, hey. you know like I will always say, I will always say the truth. It doesn't matter if I was Princess Adure's former chief maiden. It doesn't matter. They weren't even disturbed about the king's death. Amara, they weren't. Amara, please, let's reduce our voice. Because what they say is how it is. Ah, that's true, I was carried away. But what they are doing is really no good. I understand. Anyways, oh, was it, did, we, did we just say anything? No, 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 we said nothing. Uh -huh. okay? just please, just let's so get to that woman and get what they are okay. saying. You're speaking to her royal majesty. The great queen of Urumba kingdom. I will not take no son answer and I give you 24 hours to be done with that. What? Mom. Mm -hmm. Could you imagine that that pig that calls herself Kambili is still sleeping by this time of the day? What? And what did you do? Nothing. I said I should come and tell you first. Because it baffles me that she still sees herself as a princess in this palace. How? How possible, mom? I authorize you to beat her to stupor. She's a slave and must serve all of us, all of us, for the rest of her life. You are not just the best, mom. You are her royal majesty, the reigning queen of our kingdom, the strongest of them all. Mm. I will not only do that, I will cut off her disgusting ears and make sure I feed her with them. That is what your daughter would do. In addition to that, make her work. Work? Work! Work! And work! Mm. She has to clean all the cars, okay. wash the dirty dishes, mm. dirty clothes, even the rags around. If she proves stubborn, <laughs> Report her to me. That is not even enough, Mom, because I'm going to make her clean the whole compound.
to be done with the washing else you have something else coming my sister right you are not going to eat anything like food you will feed on my sister's pool that is what you little swine deserve. listen to me i don't have time for this nonsense this shenanigan listen to me if i come back here and you're not done with this washing and taking care of my bedroom and cleaning up the palace i will be feeding your soul to the octopus in the ocean you swahili ancient idiot more you do okay get some more okay okay um I I'm going to go inside I'll get you a change of clothes all right besides where have you been I've been looking for you everywhere okay? why do you always disappear now don't go anywhere did you hear me? I'll get you a change of clothes. And also, I'm thinking of getting a clipper to shave your beards. You don't want to shave? Okay. No. It's okay, um, 
I'm already getting used to everything around here. So don't pity me. Okay? He's my stepmother's lover. Her boyfriend. He... He spanked me on my buttocks. I retaliated with his slap. And... He beat me up mercilessly in the presence of my stepmother and sisters. Don't worry about me. No, it's okay. Let's talk about you. So, you really don't want to shave your hair? See. Do you know you're a fine man? See, if you allow me to shave this your hair, eh? And a little. Okay, it's fine. Don't worry. Eat your food. What's your name, Seth? Nadozi. Nadozi. Okay, drink water. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. Drink some small. <laughs> it's it up. into the palace, a madman. Have you lost it? No, it is the panache for me. You really have got. What? Will you take this generation of yours out of this palace? And the next time you come back here, come back here, you need to it. Come back here. The next time you will try this, come back here. The next time you will try this, you will best time you of your breath and use it for my masturbating procedure. Do you understand me? Get out! Bastard! No, listen, I, I, I can understand that you're mad. Get your useless son out of this place! Retarded souls! What? How dare you? Brother. You look worried. What's the problem? Um, my sister. No, nothing. Nothing, I'm fine. I'm okay. Are you sure? You can talk to me. What's really bothering you? Do you think Princess Adure is the right person for me? Come on, brother. We've talked about this several times. I mean, the little time I've spent with her, she's she's okay and she's well brought up. Or do you want her to come to the palace and stay with us so you can reserve her? No, no. Um, you know, Maya, I don't. I don't want this palace to experience another bad queen. And then again, these ladies have a way of hiding their bad characters for as long as it stands. So that's why I'm bothered. Well, I understand you, but you really don't have to be. Princess Adore is a nice girl. I mean, she's a well brought up um, lady. And um, I don't want you, I want you to let go of your past. I don't want you to keep thinking about it. 
she's not going to have anything that looks like Annie. I promise you. You know, the elders were worried. They were concerned about the about everything. But I told them that I would take my time. I told them to chill. I have everything under control. And definitely I will take my time. You don't have to worry, brother. I mean this time you're getting it right. Yes. Yeah. Everything is going to be fine. I'm so sorry. Okay? Sorry about everything. They beat me in it. They beat me in it. They, they slapped me. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, okay? Listen, I'm going to go inside and get you a change of clothes. Alright? And then I'm I'm also going to get a clipper so that I can I can bab your hair. You don't want to bob your hair. You know, if you bob your beard and your hair, you're going to appear clean. No. Okay, no problem. Um, I'll also get you something to eat. Will you eat? You eat, right? I'm coming, okay? Don't go anywhere. Just wait for me. Did you hear me? Stay here and wait. Do not move, okay? Wait here. Ah. Um, please, where is the the madman? Oh, the madman? Mm -hmm. He has left. <sighs> but I asked him to wait for me now. I don't expect anything positive from you. Madman, that is why he's a madman. According to your tradition, you have to get married first before you declare the burial of your father. Yes, you're right. Well, you didn't tell me the part of you succeeding your father. Well, that's because I thought you knew much about our rules and traditions. Mm. But hence we're getting married, I have decided to give it to my younger sister. Interesting. 
But you have a stepsister. Yes, I do. And she is Ada. So why not just give it to her instead of your younger sister? That one. She is never interested. As a matter of fact, she has nothing to do with the throne. She doesn't want to have anything to do with the, the palace. That's quite strange, you know. You see, I would love to see your stepsister. How can I see her? Really? Yes. Well, that, that should be whenever she returns. And when she does, trust me, I will bring her to your palace. Please do. Yeah, and um, one more thing. About the... Are you expecting someone? Good to see you, my princess. To your princess. Greetings. My princess, we heard that you came to our kingdom and we have decided to come and say hello to you. Yes, my princess, we are part of the girls that came to your kingdom the other day that you helped, you gave us money, you established us, so we are here to say thank you for your generosity and kindness. Wow, I don't even know them. I help a lot of people on a daily basis, despite their communities. Yes, you bought me a sewing machine and a generator for my shop. God will continue to bless and increase you, my princess. Thank you. Thank you so much. And please, do not forget to always spread love wherever you are. Yes, my, my princess. princess. Thank One you. more thing, my princess. We would like you to be our queen in this kingdom. Yes, yes. we would like you to be our queen. Right. Bye, Bye, my princess. Bye. Bye. I love seeing smart women. Very hardworking. That's quite impressive. You know, you have a very good heart. You can say that again. And I'm also thinking of um, building an orphanage for the homeless and the orphans. Wow. That's huge. Right? Yeah. Well, it's good. It's very good. <laughs> Okay, girls, I just did the transfer. Have you gotten it? I've seen it. <laughs> you guys did a wonderful job. Thank you. Keep it up. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, my princess. Thank you. My princess. Thank you. Princess. Ha. Thank Mama, you. Nice I don't boy. get money for cream. Oh. I wish you for Can't really travel to London to supervise my husband's company. We all know that you know about it, right? So I am trying Real to- Real Majesty, we know about us. Good. Very good. She's there to see how things are going. Oh no, well, may I know why you insist on asking after her as if she's missing? Yes, actually she seems missing because we all know Princess Kambiri. Really? Yes, a very popular maiden and the uh, princess of this kingdom. Two weeks now or thereabouts, we have not seen this wonderful princess of this kingdom. We have not seen her drive about, greeting people here and there, and feeling for people, and people relating with her as usual. We are missing her. The kingdom is missing her. The, the villagers are missing her. We need to know about her. What, what about? Yes. Secondly, Asina Oku Nagawarawara. I am Nagawarawara now for you. What we've been hearing about this particular princess is not anything to write home about. Not palatable to us at all. I mean, we need to know about her whereabouts. In fact, oh no, whatever it is you heard about my sister is total rubbish. Like my mother said, she traveled to London to supervise my father's business over there. Of course. She's in London working for the betterment of this royal home. When will she be back? When she's done. It's an emergency. She is not playing there. Our queen. I have heard what you said. I will pretend as if what the princess so much said is just childish. 
I wouldn't have had rubbish. I am the prime minister of this kingdom. And you know that. Now, this is the second issue. Which is? Why is it that Princess Adure is not yet married up to now? Why is it that Prince Adure is not yet married? She needs to get married so we can go ahead and crown her uh, queen. Yes. Then we'll now bury her father, the king. And those things will be, will, will be laid aside. I will be crowned queen after my father, Onobu. Huh? Hello. Hey, my princess, you did not say such a thing. Uh, huh? Huh? Princess Somachi! <laughs> My sister will relinquish the crown to me and I will be made queen. Princess Somachi, I heard you very clearly. You said that you will become our queen. <laughs> Please, for your information, you are the second daughter of this royal family. Ask your mother the rest of the questions surrounding it. Laughing at me will be tantamount to your position as the prime minister of this kingdom. So be very careful. Hey, my princess. Ask your mother. Go back to her. Ask her. Mother, say something. Tell them, mother. So much. Tell them. Enough. My elders, apologies. The cabinet meeting will be rescheduled or summon you in no time. So that your majesty. Hmm? Apologies sustained. Elders, Ona dear. It was if also. Ona? Keep it well. We must leave now. The king has asked us to go. in your room till further notice. You did, but um, Princess Adri asked me to come and sweep the entire compound. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> you do as I say. As long as my elders in this palace okay, I'm out Have your head chopped off. Be quick with this and come attend to me. You're doing squatting instead of sweeping. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry for your miserable self. The fact that you're still breathing next to me disgusts me. By the time I become the queen, I will make sure you vanish from this palace. And oh, how do I look? I am asking you, idiot, how do I look? You look good. Good. 
your hands, clothes, jewelries, everything that you ever own, they are all mine now. And there is nothing you can do about it. Swine. Let me not wait for you at the count of ten. I don't want to hear. Hush! Your sister would help you become the queen of this kingdom. But is she going to be the one finding the man for you? You need a husband. You need a real man. Yes. Not all those little, little boys you open your legs up for. You're a queen in waiting. So you behave like a queen in waiting. Hold on, mom. What do you take me for? You think I'm a kid, right? You actually think I'm a baby. Why do I have this feeling that you and Aduri are playing a fast one on me? I beg your pardon? Yes, don't beg my pardon at this point, mom. Excuse me. Why do I feel that way? Listen, Aduri might be too smart to get away with whatever she does, but not to play a smart one on me. Mm -hmm. I can see your mind is made up. And what in the green world is going on here? Why did you not say anything? Please sit. sit. Hmm. Okay, so to you, my elder sister, why did you not say anything when I was speaking to the elders about me becoming the queen? Why did you not affirm my utterance? Why did both of you shut me up in that manner? Why? What don't you understand? I said, why? Well, young woman, watch your mouth. Are you crazy? Don't talk to me in that manner. Have you lost it? I am not arguing it with you. I have already promised to make you the queen, right? What else do you want? If you promise to make me the queen, why are you still then communicating with Chief Collins? What? Ch Chief Collins? Yes, Chief Collins. You don't know I'm aware. I am as bad as you are. I learned from you. I watch every of your steps. You cannot overshadow me. Don't even think that I am daft. For crying out loud, that man was once your sugar that Are you mad? Have you lost it? No, have you gone bananas? What? What the hell do you think you want to talk to me in that tone? Watch your mouth! If you must know, Chief Collins was once your daughter's sugar daddy. And he also wants the crown desperately. Listen, both of you. If I do not become the queen, I will disgrace both. In fact, I will destroy you. I will tell the elders what you've done to get to this point. How would you feel connived to kill my dad and Queen Ola? Don't you dare me! I think she's beginning to help. Are you seeing Chief Pose? I am not seeing Chief Collins. Come off fate. She's just having an integrated disease. I'm not. Believe me. Did I not tell you I was going to deal with you? Did I not say that to you? I told you, pray. Pray because I will deal with you. A slave you are and a slave you forever remain. That is what I want. I was talking and you were talking. Talk now. Are you now dumb? You imbecile. Talk. Talk back at me. 
Talk back at me, that's what I say. You can't talk anymore. Talk back at me now. Talk back at me, I am talking to you. You're not my sister again, you're not my elder sister again, right? Nonsense. Let, 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 let me see how you wear all those hair. All, all the hairs that, 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 that your stupid mother bought for you. Come and wear them, let me see. Get out! Talk back at me. Talk back at me, Kambili. You imbecile of a human being, you talk to me. Talk back at me now. I waited for this day. I patiently waited for this day to finish you. I am not done with you. You're staring at me in that manner. Why are you staring at me like that? Talk back at me, you octopus of... I don't even know what to call you. What are you? What are you? Let me... Tell me what to call you. Your Highness. What is that we're waiting for? The throne is empty. And the queen has to be crowned. We can no more wait. More so. Our festival is fast approaching. We cannot celebrate without a queen. Your Highness, please do something towards this direction. Do something very quick. The daughter of late King Alfred, Princess Adore, is the best woman for you. Your Highness, she is a queen from birth. Elelewe John, Okura Wango, Ugobechi, Ehonwa. This girl is the best for you, Your Highness. Uh, yes, Your Highness. Ichi Amade here is right. In fact, we have gone to consult the gods with all the necessary requirements. And they are proof that uh, Princess Adure is your rightful wife. And that was why your first marriage with a, uh, Queen Annie failed. Because she was not your wife. But Princess Adure is your wife. Please do something. Our kingdom need a queen. Please, Your Highness. Please. Brother, I think the others are right. We really need a queen before the festive period. My elders. My dear sister. I've heard everything you say. But the truth remains that I won't be in a haste to do anything. I need to take my time. But then again, I assure all of you that in no distant time, we will go to Oru Kingdom, get their princess, and marry her as my wife. <laughs> Your Highness, which date? Time. We are inquisitive to know because we have to get prepared. It's okay, we will schedule another meeting right here in my palace. Then we can discuss the time and the date. That shouldn't be a problem. It's all right, Your Highness. That's very good. We are waiting. Brother, you know I will always support you. As long as the decision you are making is good for the both of us. Maya. Brother. Marriage is not what you think it is. Marriage is way beyond all the king and queen bubbles. I don't want to be a victim of hate, anger, uncertainties. Adure has proven a 
that she is a well brought up lady. Yes. But there is something I asked her to do for me and I'm still waiting for that. And what is that? Listen, I don't want to rush into marriage. I feel marriage is something that we just have to take our time. We should take our time, know each other, understand each other, know if it's going to work or not. I'll be with my friend, I understand you. I mean, I know where you're coming from, but you see, my brother, our king, he cannot keep residing on the throne without a queen. Besides, our festive season is fast approaching, you know? I really need both of you to like, maybe come together and work out this marriage of a thing. I really do think so. Okay, you know, I don't want to sound like some desperate woman. But I think about it, I mean, if it makes you happy, I will gladly do it. Thank you. You're welcome. I really appreciate it. So what about your stepsister? Ah. When are we seeing her? Yes, this weekend. You know, Kambli is one psycho fanatic coconut head. Trust me. I can't wait for you to meet her. You will see what I am talking about. Mm. I just hope she does not disgrace me. No, no, no. I don't think she will. Really? I don't think she will. Just bring her. <laughs> um, I'm Chet. <laughs> They killed my parents. They killed my mommy. Look at what they did to me. Oh Lord. Lord, just look at me. No. I will expose them. I will have to leave this palace. I will run. I will tell everyone in the kingdom. I need to tell the elders. I need to tell Onowu. Yes, I have to go now. What did you conclude with the Obudu elders? Well, mother, they are still trying to make him resume. You know, I just can't wait to leave this palace and become the queen of Obudu Kingdom. Why don't you wait to the pretense and go tell him how you feel? Are you forcing me? No. But we all know how desperate you've been to occupy that position. What's changed? I mean, why, who, who are you hiding it from? Me or mom? Watch your mouth. I wasn't talking to you, you loud, pig-mouthed idiot. Mom, you started it. Must sister always abuse me? Did I say anything wrong now? Exactly, you did. Why can't you be at peace with your spirit? Who, who is that? Going on, she was trying to escape from the palace. I want to go, I want to leave this place. Okay, I don't want to be here anymore. Why am I here? What am I doing here? Just let me go. I want to go. You evil and demonic queen. What? What is this? What is this? What is this? Did you just call my mother? You heard me. Evil people. 
monsters! How I, crazy! I, 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 I want to go! I want to go! Just let me go! I want to go! I want to go! Gat! I want to go! Take her away! Lock her up! And give her the beating of her miserable pathetic life! Uh, uh, uh. Leave me! Now move, move! Oh! You stand up! I move it! Leave me alone! Leave me! I said you leave me alone! Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Bad God! I spit on your grave! Evil people! Monsters! That's what you are! Wait! Huh? Huh? I want you to lock her up. Henceforth, she's a prisoner in this palace. Lock her without food. I'm not your prisoner. No. I am not your prisoner. Such a nuisance. He's no. thinking one of that. I don't understand the reason this idiot is still alive. Why is she still in this palace? You can actually make her mad or you disappear. Not now. That time will come. It has to be one thing at a time. It's a guy that offense. So back to our discussion. Hmm. Come tell me more about the dealings of Obudu. Kingdom! Kingdom. <laughs> I want to know. Yes! My queen, we are not happy. In fact, we are overworried. We are sad. We want to know the whereabouts of our princess. Can be a princess of this kingdom, a maiden of this kingdom. We need to know about her whereabouts. You told us that she went to London to that time. And up till now, we've never had anything about her or her whereabouts. Not in known of her. Now we need the international number of that daughter of ours. Can be so that we call her and hear things from her ourselves. I don't have it. You don't have it? Hmm. This is not working. <laughs> it's not working at all. My queen, you say you don't have it. Well, why didn't you send your own daughter, Princess Adore, to London? Yes, you would have sent her. I don't believe your story is not clear to me. In any case, I want to see the princess. Queen Uloma's daughter here. That's all. Well, she'll be back and you will see her. When is she coming back? When will she be back? Eh? She'll come back and you will see her. I don't want the guards of this kingdom to embarrass elders like you. With all due respect, we are still mourning a king and a queen in this palace. And I want you to accord this household that respect. If you don't trust your queen, I will give you the address to the king's company, your late king's company in London. You go there and see calmly yourselves. I was on the call when they told me that you guys came. So, I would love to go and finish what I was doing before you interrupted my business call. Hmm. This is not happening. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. She walked out on us. Meaning what? Huh? Well, what is happening here? Can someone tell me what the matter is? Is this happening in our kingdom or? Well, oh no. I will say that when a man set out for a journey and has even not arrived at his destination, the journey still rests on his feet. In any case, I don't think the queen is paying our intelligence. I don't really think so. I think you are right. But in this case, this is just the beginning of the whole thing. This is not the end of this. No problem, let's go. This is not happening. It is not happening. We cannot be killed.
Hello, hello. How are you and where, where are, are you, you heading to? I'm just coming back from the market. Um, remind me that your name again. <laughs> Amara. Eh, uh, Amara, that's right. Why yes, not sir. hop in? Let me drop you off where I'm going to. Oh, thank you, sir. It's really been a while. Come on, let me drop you off. It's okay. <laughs> So that was how she sucked us without paying us our salary. Well, um, Amara, as for me, I don't like to talk about that family anymore because they really did me dirty. I mean, they treated me so bad. Anyway, except for the king and his late wife. So sorry about that. It's okay. Anyway, Adura thinks she's smart, mm -hmm. but I'm sure she will regret this. Definitely. I'm so sorry for everything they did to you. So, so sorry. Well, it's okay. Well, um, one more favor. Okay, what's that? Um, I'm actually hosting some men from my club this weekend. Oh, so I would okay. love for you to prepare me a favorite vegetable soup. <laughs> okay, no problem. I'll you be sure? There. Yes. So I'm counting on you. Mm -hmm. No problem, I'll be there. So um, I'll pick you this weekend so you can come make the soup. Okay. All right. Okay. Do have a lovely day. You too. Really yeah. nice seeing you again. Same here. Bye. Yeah, enjoy your day. It's always painful to see you like this, especially when a child has pain for the sins of the mother. Like you're doing. She's so beautiful and innocent. Well, that doesn't matter, does it? Huh? Does it really matter? You know, honestly, I do not know what to do with you. I don't. I don't know what to do with you again. Just kill me. Huh? Kill me. I want to go and join my mother and my father. They will be so happy to receive me. Okay? Kill me. Why would I do that? That's not part of the plan. You see, I, 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 I can't soil my hands with your blood. Let me go. Go? Let me go. I want to be out of this place for your children. Just let me go. Why would you be thinking of doing such? This, this whole place, this, 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 I mean, this is your father's palace. Why would you be thinking of leaving? You are the almighty princess, can't believe. The one and only favorite. Your palace will be empty when you're gone. So why do you want to go? No, you can't. You cannot. <laughs> Please. I'm begging you in the name of God. I'm hungry. I'm tired and I'm weak. I need water. Can you please give me water to drink? Please. You're hungry? <laughs> Tired? Thirsty? Why? Have you not been passing urine? <laughs> Have you not been passing service? You should use that for your food and drink. Receive signs. <laughs> Don't you want to go to heaven when you die? You want to live hungry? Come on! You need to enjoy doors. Please, please, just let me go. Please let me go. Please, I beg you. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Stop. 
Why? Aduri, I want to ask for your hands in marriage. Is we... that supposed to be a proposal? Yes. But I want to do it in your kingdom, in front of everybody. I want you to marry me. Then if we're getting married, what stops you from making love to me? We need to do the right thing. Okay? I just want you to understand. It's okay. Princess Somachi is soon to be crown queen. I I admire the fact that you're proving stubborn with me. That's that's a taste of love, right? I I love every bit of it, but don't stretch it too much because. Whatever Princess so much wants, she gets. Well, my dear Princess So much. Princess So much. If you must know, I do not eat two sisters, and I would never do such a thing. <laughs> Come off it. Be talking about eating two sisters. Come on. When did you become a carnivorous animal that you feed on human flesh? That is awkward. Don't say that again. Anyways, you already know how much I I, I want you. So it's not a big deal to actually clean you up, right? Clean you up to my taste and standard. Clean you up in such a way that you will fit into the society of my social status. So, I hardly change my mind on what I want. Whatever princess so much. The crown queen in waiting wants, she gets. Princess Somachi, I have told you countless times without numbers that I do not need your love, friendship, or whatever you have to offer. But yet, you keep showing up at my place whenever you want and proposing this love that I've told you that I don't need. Oh, come on. Don't you have some atom of shame? No. Like I said before, when it comes to the ones that I genuinely love, I am shameless. Totally shameless. And need I remind you again that I am the crown queen in waiting. Whatever I want. Princess so much she gets. Well, Let that sink. Well, I would advise you walk away with some sense of pride and prestige like a queen you claim to be. Keep it. I, Ekene, do not need it.
in your wildest dreams. I've seen him before. Really? The other time at the mall, right? Yes. So what does he want? I'm sure he wants some money or food. Get him something now. Get him food or money. What do you think? Okay, um, let's go. Take, Take this food and this water. Make sure the madman eats it. And when he's done eating, drive him far away from this land. I do not want the madman dying in this palace. Do you understand me? She poisoned your food. She wants you to die. Your friend is not here. She was locked up in the palace. Here. I want to see my friend. I want to, I want, I want to see my friend. I want to see my friend. I want to see my friend. I want to see my friend Cambri. I want to see my friend Cambri. Please. Give plenty money. I want to see my friend Cambri. Give plenty money. Plenty money. Plenty. Money plenty. I don't need any money. I will take you to where your friend is. But promise me you won't be violent. Okay, good. I know you're not a violent person. Come, let's go. I'll take you to where your friend is. Okay, let's go. Maya, I am so sorry for keeping you waiting. I had to go and feed the madman. If I don't give him food by myself, he won't eat it. Really? Yes. Well, are you that close? Not really. I just wish I had the scissors. But I've cut off those dirty hairs and beards. Wow. You have such a good heart. Thank you. <laughs> you know, I was actually thinking of building an um, orphanage. We need one. That's nice. And a rehabilitation center for the mentally sick people. Your brother would like that idea, oh, right? Of course. Hmm. My brother would love to support you. I mean, our company would like to support because it's for humanity. Thank you so much. Meanwhile, what do I offer you? I'm fine. No, you can't be fine. Mm -hmm. I'm okay. Thank you. Okay. If you say so what so. about your mom? Um, she's fine. Everyone is fine. Good 
to you. So have you been? I've just been there. <laughs> Madozi, so you came to see me. I'm so happy to see you. God bless you for coming here. Stop. Don't cry. Okay? Stop crying. Look at me. Stop crying. I am going to be fine. I am going to be... I'm going to be alright and I'm going to be out of this place. Okay? Um, have you... Have you had something to eat? Look, very soon, hmm? everything is going to be all right. But I need your help. Now, does it look at me? You're my only friend. You're the only friend that I have. I need your help, okay? I need you to listen to me and listen very carefully, okay? I need you to go out there. Hmm? Go into the village. Tell everyone you see. Tell them everything that you know. Did you hear me? Tell them that the queen and her daughters, are you listening to me? They killed my mother, Queen Ola. And they also killed the king, my father. I, I, I overheard them in a conversation. The queen and her daughters were in an argument and I heard everything. Oh, they needed to help me carry this information out there. I know you're listening. I know you understand what I'm saying. Hmm? Tell them I'm in prison. I'm in cell. I need help. I want to be out of this place. Tell them everything. Please, go. Listen. So go. You have to go, 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 go. Now, just see. This is what. Listen. Go, go. Oh, let's go. I can help to step up. See. Take him, just take him. You have to go. Let's go, let's go. If the case if the case find 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 me here, I'll be in trouble. Let's go, please. Let's go, please, let's go. My princess. And where is your colleague? I did not see him, my princess. And where is the madman? I have not seen him also. My princess. You did not see him. You're very stupid. You just sit here in the palace and eat like a fool. I'm sorry, my princess. Shut up your trap! I pray I find him. Fool. Look at you. You look like an unprecedented beggar. You are going to die inside here. Toothless bull. I'm not going to die in here. I can smell freedom. I can smell freedom. My freedom is near. God, please bring Nadozi back. <sighs> Let him get help. My freedom is near. My freedom is now. Have you done what I asked you to do? Yes, my princess. I escorted the madman outside the kingdom as you've instructed. Without a car? We entered the bush. I thought you said nobody left the palace. My princess, he's telling lies. He never left the palace. My princess, I left the palace. He was not at the gate when we left. That's not true. I've been here. It's okay. 
You did what I asked you to do, right? Yes, my princess. That's what matters. The did not just change overnight. Something must have gone wrong somewhere. Something like what, Ichie? I have forgotten that if a quick late wife from the same kingdom with Queen Agatha. Hey, hey, must have taken side. Get into the trouble. Get into the nonsense. What kind of rubbish is this? Huh? I don't really know. What? If I catch you, I will kill you. Get away from there. Get away. Get out. Get up! Will you, will, will you get up? Fool me. Am mm. I the one that made you mad? I don't know. Huh? Eh? Won't I have peace again? We are suffering from uh, uh, all this, this is called calamities. Then the mad man's phone has come in as an addition. My brother, Ichie Ibekwe, I heard you very clearly. But one thing I want you to understand is this. Uku naga warawara, aya naga warawara. Fair. Eh? The whole thing will come to the limb light. Just calm down for the meantime. Calm down. I must unravel the mystery behind it. Oh no. You do say that Princess Adora wants us to crown Chief Collins as a king of her kingdom? Yes. So she said. But it cannot happen. Really? Yes. Really? As long as I remain the only one of this great kingdom. That must well, not happen. Hmm. And listen again. Yes. I did not give her any audience. Good. I told her I won't grant her audience on this. Until yes, we set our eyes on Princess uh, Kambi. <laughs> that is it. <laughs> oh no. Kita hmm? Kibian. Let's go. But the issue of the way I miss Bobo Yes. Yes. I will expose it and make sure that if that is the truth. I don't know. Okonta, my good friend. Nduke, yes. <laughs> we all know that mm. a toad does not scamper in the daytime in vain. That's true. Just as I was saying, mm. if you support me mm. as your friend, yes. the queen mm. will be very happy. Yes. Very, very happy. I don't know whether you understand. I do understand what you just said clearly. Good. But the problem is this, my family, they are hungry. I need money. Once you can give them money, eh? <laughs> I will do it. I will do it. Money. Money is not a problem. That's I will give you money. Uh -huh. <laughs> money is not a problem. You are heavy. Don't mind this, Aleka. <laughs> I have a message for you. I'll be serious. Go ahead. How did the madman get to know about all this? He did not tell us the source. He only said that you and your daughters killed our king and Queen Olamu. That's not true. It's not true. He's a madman. My queen, mad people can be communicating with the gods. Perhaps, if you spread this news or this accusation, there will be dust in this kingdom. But he is insane. Whether he is communicating with the gods or not, he is mad. Don't you know what it takes for someone to lose his sense? He is not in his right sense. Look, Your Majesty, I have seen more days in this kingdom. People might not see it the way you 
are seeing it now. If you fail to do something about this madman's accusation, you and your daughters will be forced to swear before Amadio, our great deity. And you know what it means. To be too bad. You have to do something. You may leave. Oh, thank you, Majesty. Hmm. Guards! Listen, I want you to to get me the head of the very madman coming to this palace. I need his head. Mother, that's not even possible. He should be dead by now. Why? I gave the guards a poison food to feed him with. And I told them when they are done feeding him, they should drive him far away from this land. Come on, sis. You behave as if you don't know how these things work. Even you, mom. Mad people are the most difficult set of humans to get killed. You don't just kill them like that, even with food poisoning, because most of them are immune to it. So why don't you allow mom do what's in her mind? Listen, I need his head, dead or alive. Here's the sitting news. I need his head. Dead or alive, before dusk on my table. Now move. Yes, Your Majesty. Before they spread news and uh, nonsense rumor about me. Should not be allowed to do that. Mom, I think it's high time you released Kamdiri. What for? The elders in council and Onowu has refused to crown your queen. Else, Kambiri is released. I, I don't believe that, sis. At least, I know a little about our custom and tradition, mom. It's only until I get a man that is when I can be crowned queen. Kambiri has nothing to do with this. You know, it takes wisdom to rule this kingdom. But sometimes when you talk, it's as if you locked in. Excuse me, Mom. I think your sister is right. Right about what, Mom? About us releasing Kambeli before you can be able to ascend the throne as a queen. You know, I I don't know if I am the only one that is having this whole perception about this situation because why would you want us to release Kambili? It's not making sense to me. Mom releasing that little rat is like exposing us to the public. Everything we've done to her, everything you and my sister have done to. Why would you want us to do that? Come on, it's not necessary. I think you're not ready for this battle. Where you are headed, there's no gain. Think. Majesty. Once again, you are welcome to Obudu Kingdom. Thank you so much, Your Majesty. You know, I invited you here to formally inform you that I will be coming to your kingdom, to the palace, to seek for the hands of your princess in marriage. <laughs> what a good news. Ah! Uh, what a good news. Yeah. 
Kato Amonti. Kato Miche. Truly, we are still one in our king. But he has men in the kingdom. People like us, we welcome you. Remember, you have been a good ally to our kingdom. Huh? Uh, the kingdom and the uh, Uru kingdom. We are good allies. Hmm? We feel for each other. You are welcome. Huh? Uh, Igwe. Uh, I, I guess you are coming for a princess. Princess Adure. So, now that you've known, if there is anything I need to do prior to the marriage, you let me know. Oh. You know, since your king has not been buried. Um, your Majesty, no. nothing at all. I mean, nothing. Nothing. We are waiting for you. Thank you. No. So my elders and I will be in your kingdom in two days. Thank you. People are being friends to our kingdom. Eh? You are a very close friend to our kingdom. No. We can't wait to see you. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we should be lost now. <laughs> Thank you. You can go ahead. Let's celebrate. Majesty. Let me see. Why is he not bleeding? Your Majesty, we found his corpse in the bush, so I had to cut off his head. Twelve were with it. At once. me how you imbecile of a human being have been surviving with no food, no water. It does. Well, I can see that some people can never survive without my clothes, shoes, jewelries, mm. and even my hairs. But news flash to the glory of God, some of us survive without food and water. <laughs> Thank you. Glory of God! Come on, will you come off it? Glory of God, I can't even come down to save you, right? You know it's a beautiful thing. You've kept saying it, your clothes, your shoes, your this, your that. Yeah, I'm aware they are all yours. That's your stupid mother. But you beautiful things. And guess what? No, news flash as well. They are all mine now. And there is nothing, absolutely nothing you can do about it. I, I will admit that all along I've been so jealous of you. Yeah. All along. And now, not, not anymore, because looking at you, you were a weak, dirty, disgusting swine octopus. What should I even call you? That would be enough. Absolutely nothing. So, quit shedding those crocodile tears. I am not touched. Guess what? What? Even in my downest moment, I am still better than you. And again, <laughs> you will never be queen. Don't you ever. Don't you ever say that again. You will never be queen. I said not you, not your sister. Did you not hear me say don't you ever? You don't know what is coming. I said don't! Something is coming. Tick tock, tick tock. You're not even ready. 
Because the God that I serve and the God of this land is about to disgrace you and your demonic sister and mother. <laughs> I am better than you. Even as a servant. Now you run along. <laughs> You know what? Mm. You got a savior. Mm. And that savior is this protector. Else, you would be a walking corpse. Of course, I will run along, Keep but this. just zoom. Hey, shut up. I am talking. I said, shut up. <laughs> Pray. Pray that I do not become the queen. Because if I do, I am going to make sure I save your head to the dogs of this palace. You don't know what is coming. Did you not hear me say, shut up, my God, and the gods of this land? Oh, I agreed with the rare house. Oh no. I agreed the chairs. Oh no. Um. As the owner of Urumba Kingdom, the king of Obudu Kingdom invited me to his palace. He met know his intention of marrying our princess to me. They will be here in two days' time. Mm -hmm. Yes. But we agreed as follows. After my explanation of our current situation here. One, there will be no form of any event of any type or marriage or whatever ceremony can take place in this palace until we will not only see our princess but she will be there fully. We see her in full frame. I mean, Princess Kambiri, one of the dads and daughter of this kingdom. That was the agreement. And on this note, I declare this meeting ended already. <laughs> Um, Amara, Sir. I want to thank you for the food and for the other day. Uh -huh. Look, I must confess, I and my friends enjoyed the food <laughs> and even my father. Wow. So I want to say thank you. You don't need to tell me thank you. You don't need to. I should be the one telling you thank you. Thank you for allowing me to cook for you and your friends. I really do appreciate it. You're welcome. Um, Amara, one more thing. Uh, please. Okay. I want you to marry me. Please. Marry you? Yes. Look, Amara, if you be my wife, I will treat you like a queen. And also make you the envy of so many women. Anything you want, I would do it. Please. And you will not leave a day to regret ever accepting to be my wife. Please. Your wife? Yes, marry me. Wow, this is great. Yeah? It's, you know, it feels good to see my son happy again. Yeah? Look at him, he now smiles and laughs, you know, <laughs> without any prompting. Ah, bro, bro. Yeah? Uh, my daughter, I. Thank you so much for accepting to be his wife. Eh? <laughs> yes. Thank you so much, Papa. Babe, let me prepare something for Papa to eat, okay? All right. I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Papa. I must confess, I am more relaxed now. She is actually the woman I needed all this while. Well, although I am still feeling a little bit of heartbreak 
But I'm sure I'll get over it. Yes. Yeah, you didn't talk about heartbreak. What's heartbreak? It's a very simple thing to do. Channel everything to her. Eh? You can see she's a good woman. She's good to you. She loves you. She takes good care of you. She cooks very well. And she keeps the whole house in order for you. What else do you want in a woman? Eh? Not that useless idiot that calls herself princess. Eh? She doesn't know how to cook. She doesn't know how to uh, clean the, the house. Does she even know how to clean her own body? Yeah? Well, so she calls herself princess. Oh, forget about her. Eh? This is the woman for you. This is the woman for you. Uh, well, I thank God uh, some, for some miracles, you know. It happens sometimes. Now her personal maid is your wife. Uh, uh, Papa, she is not a maid. Just call her my wife, please. Okay. I'm just referring to her uh, from my experience as uh, the princess uh, has made. <laughs> Papa, forget about her past. Just call her my wife. It's okay. And I like her just the way she oh, is. Oh, that's what I'm talking about, eh? That's what Sorry. I'm talking about. All is well that ends well, eh? <laughs> <laughs> and why did you prefer Chief Collins to be our king? It eh? is best known to me, you know. We did not even consider Princess Kambi oh, to be the queen. It is not possible now. I know your intentions for me to crown Queen Kambi, right? I will not do that. Have you forgotten that I am Ada Adure of the late king? The heir apparent of Uru Kingdom. Uh, my princess, I don't know from where you're getting or driving this, your notion. I don't know from where you're coming from. All I know is that in that day, you must get married. Yes. And secondly, a queen must be crowned. That's what I know. <clears throat> Hello? Your Majesty. <clears throat> I want you to send a message across to Princess Kambiri. Tell her to find herself in the palace now. Her presence is seriously needed. Yes. The youths, the elders, and in fact the entire uh Indigenous of this kingdom are expecting her to be in the palace to witness the marriage of her sister, Princess Adure, to the king of the kingdom. It is very, very important. Yes, there must not be any excuse at all. She must be present. Yes, conspicuously present. Thank you. Uh huh. It's okay. Mm. <clears throat> yes. Oh no. Hey. Please. Please, let us not deviate from our culture. Kendugwe, we do respect. You shut up your mouth. I want to do that. We have forgotten we are learned educated men of this kingdom. Who are you to shut me up? It's a big I said, who are you to shut me up? In fact, who is Princess Cambri? It's a big I see you talking from both sides of your mouth. Why? Why? <laughs> well, um, you asked me a question. Who is Princess Cambiri? Yes. Good. Princess Cambiri is not a pawn at chess board. Yes. She's a vital, educated, dignified woman. And if you don't have forgotten, <laughs> she is the noble daughter of our king, King Alfred, the ruling king of our kingdom, Uru Kingdom. You heard it very clearly. Hmm? Stop talking from both sides of your mouth. Ndukwe, you are here talking from both sides of your mouth. But why would such a girl be a hindrance? I mean, does her presence necessitate anything in the palace? M must she be available? Must she be in the palace? Must she come back from London and be in the palace? What's going on? Why? I'm asking. Your Highness, I don't know. But. Why they are Onowu did not let us know this before now? 
Well, if that is the case, then she should be invited. Oh, please. No way! That rascal! That psychopathic patient! She will not even honor your invitation in the first place. I mean, that princess is a crazy one. Why would you know we invite her to the palace and if not, the marriage will not take place? Well, I'm a king who respects customs and traditions. I think if this will cause, will cause issues, babe, you need to invite her. You need to let her know that she needs to be available. It seems you haven't been listening to me all this while. I said she will never come back. I insist you talk to her. Tell her that I specifically want her to be in the palace. She needs to come back from London. You know, I'm saying this so there won't be a problem. Uh, please, uh, Your Majesty, I suggest you call the Onu. You know, our festival is in four days. Please. I know, I understand. I understand, but we can't go against their customs and traditions. So let's do the right thing. It's okay. You say so. <laughs> Your Highness, I am sorry. So sorry, Your Highness. But I want you to know that what we are doing is our custom. Princess Kambiri is also an Ada. And uh, there is no way she must be absent while her own fellow Ada, in the name of Princess Adore, is taking marital vows with you. Can't you see that some ambiguity there? It's not allowed by a tradition. Most importantly, a queen will be crowned before the marriage. Princess Kambiri is from Queen Oledo and her only child at that. So please, you push understand this matter. See the whole thing from this perspective because I know that you understand what is called tradition. As a custodian of your own tradition. I know. I understand your point. You, you have a very valid point there. But oh no. What if she refused to be? No. The princess can be that I know. Will not refuse to be present. I remember Sarada. She's supposed to be there to give out her own. Blessings. Eh? Like I said before, you push it on the stand with us. We're just doing our tradition. Her Majesty. I want you to understand that our people has absolute respect for your customs and traditions. Mm -hmm. We will neither dance nor disobey them. Thank you, Your Majesty. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Hmm? It's okay. <laughs> so the ball is in your court now. <laughs> hmm. Take a step backward. That's fine. I just want to remind you that you're going to be my husband for a period of 30 days. After that, We'll go our separate ways with no feelings attached. I think we've discussed this before and you've paid me handsomely for it. I'm glad you remember vividly well. Yeah, I paid you well and I'm glad you do remember. But I am just here to remind you because I wouldn't want emotions to begin to fly around thereby causing some side talks in the air. That will be detrimental to the royal house. We are on a contract. Relax. I know everything and I'm going to do my part tomorrow. Relax your mind. You don't tell me to relax. 
I am the one to ask you to relax because you dare not go contrary to what we agreed on. So having said that, relax your mind and get the job done. It's okay. You may leave. Okay. Hey, come back. When next you come to see me, we are the perfume that I got you. You smell like a dead rat. And that is disgusting. For I am a princess, a royal one at that. Everything and everyone around me must represent royalty. Get out. Got him a perfume, he couldn't even use it comes around me smelling like a dead rat. Poor people everywhere. Cha 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 Orumba Kwenu! Orumba Yanu! Wanu! Mwanu! Zonu! Katakwano! Kobunu Zono! Ha! You know your house. My others, Abu Edas. The entire people of Urumba Kingdom present here. I welcome all of us. I welcome all of you. I see now, Uka Karaka, you see Kedekwe. Today is a great day in our land. A queen will be declared to rule, to rule our land. Secondly, one of our princesses will be crowned queen for the king of. Um, over the kingdom. So today is a very good day for us. I urge us to come down and have fun. I am patiently wait for the arrival of the king of Obudu with his entourage. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm not working No, 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 no. Ah! My princess! Princess Maya! Oh, no, no. Hey! One more neighbor. You are welcome. Please, uh, thank Where am I just? Somebody that made you, a girl that made you to be here. Because in this place we have about three princesses. And they're all beautiful. In fact, parade of beauties. We want to know that one that made you leave your comfort in all your glory. I told you to be here this time. Oh no. Huh? Simple, Princess Adure. 
Adur. Which means I was right. His Majesty went ahead, came here, and dipped his hand in the cola sauce and took all you go. Beauty itself. That's the reason we are here. As tradition demands, please bring our wife. <laughs> oh, I do want to go in the Seattle. Choose it. Her Majesty. Let's have uh, Princess Adura here. Mm -hmm. Hi. You go to Alata. Ah. Ah, Your Majesty. You have Paris. Fast. Ah. What is the madman doing? You understand me? Who asked you to come here? And who says he's a madman? My cousin is not mad. He's perfectly fine. What? Your, your cousin? Ha! Nadoze, my brother. You have done well for the kingdom of Obudu. I wanted a wife. I needed a queen for my people of Obudu kingdom. Out of nowhere, Aduri came. She started throwing herself at me. She befriended my sister. She tried everything possible to influence our judgment. I decided to play the game. That's why I contacted my brother Nadozi. Nadozie, who do you think deserves to be the queen of my heart? Who do you think deserves to be the queen of Obudu Kingdom? Go ahead and point the princess. For whoever you point, I have chosen. My king and brother, indeed this world is full of evil. This woman, Queen Agatha, and her daughters are evil. Mm -hmm. They try to kill their stepsister, a girl with a good heart. Some of the elders are also evil. In fact, They are wolves in sheep clothing. Mm. The guys are our brothers. And they are also a part of the plan. They poison my food. And demand for my head to be cut off. Hey. Without knowing that I was on a mission. And today... The mission has been accomplished. Just a minute, my king. My princess, can you recall what I told you in the cell a time ago? I was actually on a mission. What? I was sent by the king of Obudu Kingdom. I've already told them everything that had been happening in the palace. The king? Okay? Yes. What? See? Oh my god. See? This is the evidence. This is all you have. Let's go. What's that? Hold this ring. Take this ring. This is to show you that you have been chosen to be the queen of a Buddha kingdom. Okay? Oh, Take it. What are Take you? it. What are you saying? Take it. What? We are coming back for you. We are coming back. Don't reveal this to anyone. 
Okay? Oh my god. We are coming back for you. I shall go. I will be there with the okay. princess fight. So, you even tried killing him. Yeah? And cut it off his head. And carried it on a platter. Uh, no, 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 I, 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 Shut up! The same way she killed your queen and poisoned your king. Come, 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 come. You killed our queen and poisoned our king. No! Hi! I didn't do that! Huh. No problem. You must die. All of you. You and all these your evil daughters. You will all die. Oh no, I am not a part of it. I am not. You must be put to death, all of you. Abomination. Alu! Hey. Hmm. But the king is not dead. What? Huh? What? He's alive. Oh! Ah! Your majesty! Father. Your majesty! Your majesty! Father. You <laughs> were <laughs> 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 Yeah. I am alive. Oh, my Father. I am not dead. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I am alive. I'm 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 alive. i I, I, I got that. Ah. You did try to kill me, but you did not succeed. The doctor that works for you confessed everything he did with you. It is quite unfortunate that you still do not know whom you are married to. I am who I am. Cricketing boy, Baba Moore. Kiss Rosumba. I've called the Commissioner of Police to organize his boys to get you apprehended with your band of killers that he used in killing my wife, Olam, and attempted killing me. My Shut up! Don't say a word. Do not provoke me for that. I have been calling you. No. Go back. It is not yet your time. Go back and take care of her. Go back. Go back. Go back. Olama. 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 Orumba <laughs> Gwenu. Yeah. Gwenu. Yeah. Orumba Gwenu. Today, old fools. Pathetic excuse for elders. I have heard. Everything you have done, I will address that letter. The people of Obudu Kingdom has finally seen a queen. I have seen my bride, the virtuous woman my heart has always Hey. And she is Princess. Oh. 
Orumba, Mamanu, 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 My dear, everything happened very, very, very fast. Like, as if I was dreaming. <laughs> Mommy, it is good though. Hey, hey. Yeah. Mama, your house is very really beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. And what are you two unfeathered urchins doing in my man's house? <laughs> <laughs> Amara, you, as you can see, I'm in my friend's house. Ekene! Ekene! Ah. What are these two retarded creatures doing in your house? And what are you doing here? Excuse you? Yes, what are you doing here? Is that what it's supposed to be for me? Oh, I see. Well, if you must know, this is my beautiful wife. And obviously, she's heavily pregnant for me. <laughs> and we do not need any disturbance right now. Exactly. The house is already filled, and four will be a crowd. Please, can you see. leave? Please leave. Can you just go, please? Uh -huh. Okay. Hmm. Yes. You guys should enjoy yourself, okay? Thank okay. you. I was actually doing something inside. Oh, no problem. All right? Right? Hmm. Look at that mat. What are you doing? Eh? Princess Maya, my friend and sister, how are you doing? I'm fine. You look changed. What happened to you? Yes, that is because God has arrested me. I am now a born again Christian. Oh, wow. Just like you did to Paul. So are you not a minister or what? Well, you can say that I am a child of God right now. Well, it's just so hard to believe. Annie. Yes, God has arrested me and his awesomeness is something. But look how we have here. <laughs> Could you meet King Jordan? Please, King Jordan, I am here to apologize for all the wrong things I've done to you. Please forgive me. I know I've done unthinkable. I am sorry. I came here to tell you that I still love you. I love you so much from my heart. Please, forgive me. And it's okay. I hold no grudges against you. Okay? But there is nothing I can do at this point. I'm married. You're married? Yes. But uh, I think you have um, something important doing before you came out. Yes, a whole lot of things. You can just go and continue. All right. Yeah. I'm inside. All right. Yes, Your Majesty. What is the problem? Your Majesty, I wouldn't say whether this is good or bad news. What news is it all about? What news? Queen Agatha is dead. What? Dead? Yes. Ah. <laughs> Excuse me. She 
point of view. She's dead. She is dead. And um, she took the shortest cut to her by taking a poison. <laughs> well, um, that's her own cup of tea. <sighs> that is the end of her uh, one face. Another news, Your Majesty. No, what other news? Which other news? This one, good news, Your Majesty. Since you came back, Your Majesty, your beloved daughter, Princess Kambili, has just put to bed. What? I mean it. She has delivered a set of twins. Ha <laughs> ha! A boy and a girl. But they cost me praise. He <laughs> said, "Oh no, not for me." Hey, when did this happen? Today, when? When did it happen? About 10 minutes ago? Huh? Yes! But we're not taking your calls. Oh, yes, you know, I was not quite close where my phone was. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, congratulations, Your Majesty. Uh, thank you very much. I, I don't want to hold this joy all by myself. I want you to make news round. Let people gather. I must do merriment with this good news. It is good news indeed. Eh? Good news indeed. <laughs> Please. Um, gather people, let them come and, and uh, eat, dine and wine with me. This is not something to keep quiet with. You, with. <laughs> you can start the celebration through me. I just want to start making some calls for the merriment. You know, you know that? <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, hello? <laughs> yes. I'll be on my way, Your Majesty. Let me go at once and arrange the things. Oh, it's okay. Yes. Uh, uh -huh. Thank you.